can see we are certainly not slumming it this morning. I am so excited because today on the Today Show, we are going to take you guys and our viewers on an absolutely breathtaking underwater adventure. We're going to show you. Well, there's Lara live at Heron Island. And let's have a quick look at where Heron Island is. Uh, there's Gladstone up in Queensland. And there's Heron Island up there. You look down at bottom left, bottom right here, sorry, 10 k. So you're looking 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 k's. So we'll just sort of zoom in on Heron Island there, get a bit of an idea of how big it is. And it looks like, you know, Lara's either stayed there the night or got a seaplane out here. So certainly on the Great Lakes. So she's out here somewhere, obviously, on Heron Island. And we'll just go back to her report. You were side of the Great Barrier Reef that you have never seen before. It is all thanks to Queensland and Uber. They have teamed up. Okay, she's so bangs on a bit about some submarine they're going to go in. I'll just uh, just jump forward a bit. So here she is a, a bit later on. I just want to make a few observations here. It's 6.23 in the morning and she's live from Heron Island. Uh, we'll just have a quick look at the sunrise and sunset at Gladstone today. That was 24th of May. Oh, okay. Sunrise is at 6.26. First light, twilight. So the sun's still behind the horizon, but the sky's lit up and should be like that because the sun 6:23 where Lara is and the sun hasn't risen yet. Yet when we come back here, um, sure. Look, the sun's not on Lara, obviously. So her lighting seems a lot different to the lighting in the background. Ah, uh, you know, and there's a bit of a glow around her silhouette. In fact, the lighting on her is very uniform, you know, compared to to being outside. And if you look, it looks like it's um full sun. You've got like shadows almost vertical. Very, what is very confusing. She's live, live from Heron Island, 6.23 in the morning. Clearest kind of shark, so they say these Queenslanders are tough though, but someone who can paint us a real picture of just how beautiful the Great Barrier Reef is Rachel Jones. She's a marine biologist. She joins Hi. me now. So Rachel, when we get down there. It's... So Rachel Jones, she's joined from the side. She's got similar lighting. It's even a bit of, um, bit of a window. So it, you know. Well, they're definitely outside, obviously. I just confused, confused on firstly the light in the background, how bright it is, given the sun isn't up yet. And, and the very uniform lighting on these. But yeah, it's been a bit of a breeze for some reason. In about an hour's time, what are we going to yeah. see? It's going to be teeming with life down there. Um, you're going to see, you know. Look at the smile on Lara. All right, obviously, this is not life from here at Island. And that boat trip that they're talking about. It was probably pre-recorded uh, two or three weeks ago, maybe even six months ago. Who the hell knows? But there's no way for this little segment and today that they've um, they've got her out at Heron Island. And of course, the um, it, it, they're telling a lie. And you would think, okay, well they pre-recorded the boat trip or whatever it is, the submarine, you know, a week or two ago, or whatever. Why couldn't she just be in the studio and, and talk to them where she is now? Why can't she just admit she's in a studio and look across? Because I'm pretty sure the other two idiots, um, uh, Deb Knight and Georgie Gardner, are with an earshot of this conversation. Why don't they just, you know, talk to each other? Oh, yeah, we went there and here was our trip. Why do they need to um, manufacture this lie that they're at here at Ireland? I think a couple of reasons. I think they enjoy it. I think they like to see how stupid people are that they don't pick up that <laughs> that they're not actually there. And, um, yeah, I, I guess they, um, uh, you know, and they, they just trying to – there's no no excuse for, for pretending they're there, really, apart from, I, I guess, they're trying to add credibility to the story and make it like she's just going up there today. Um, yeah, it's very, um, very unusual as to why they're perpetuating this lie. But anyway, they are 100%. There's no way they're anywhere near here at Auckland right now. And look, they're loving lying. And, and listen to the load of garbage they go on with as they're lying. White spotted eagle rays, yes. turtles, hopefully the lemon sharks. We call them the Labradors of the reef. So it's just The Labradors of the reef. Yeah. I don't know about that. You Queenslanders are tough. You're not afraid <laughs> of sharks at all. But they're, they're beautiful creatures. Okay, so they just bang on lying for a bit longer. And they've got some vision here of Heron Island. They could just, they don't need to do. Yes, I just think they just enjoy testing how much they can lie. And look at their lying about this. So you don't have to get wet. It's a pretty tight space. I'm told that it might get a little bit hot down there. But, you know, I've been told in the past that I can talk underwater. 
Oh, look at the breeze blowing in the air. <laughs> got a bit of a fair going. And look at our, look at this glow behind her. You know, even if you're standing in shade, and there's, well, first of all, the sun isn't even up yet. <laughs> even if you're standing in um, shade, there's, you don't get a glow that follows you around. So there's obviously some green screen or whatever screen they've got going there. In about an hour's time, I'm literally going to be doing just that. So I can't wait to show you all there is to see here on the glorious. Oh, look at Lara. She is just loving. She, she's on the glorious. Great Barrier Reef when we hop into Barry, the scuba. Fantastic. <laughs> And here's the other two idiots. They know they're not there. They could just probably look across at them, pretending they're looking at the they're looking at the camera, um, as though they're talking to them, you know, in, in a um, remote sort of communication. Where <laughs> they're all in the same studio. Uh, well, anyway, like I said, I think they just do it um, partly. Yeah, obviously they want to try and convince everyone it's there and to add to the authenticity of it, even though it shows some... Look, look at this. Look how bright it is. There's no way. That's 6.26 in the morning. 6.24 or 6.23 in the morning at Heron Island. Absolutely no way, no how. So anyway, um, yeah, they're just lying to us again. And look, I think they just enjoy lying. Anyway, they just tell lies about everything. Deceit, withholding information. And now that they're funded by the banks rather than the real economy through advertising revenue which isn't there anymore because there's no the money in the real economy is is just fast disappearing through interest payments to the foreign banks so the foreign banks have to prop these guys up that's why georgie gardner lives in a six million dollar mansion do you think there's enough advertising revenue from jack's tires and you know local businesses that they can afford to pay her so she can live in a six million dollar mansion you saw my video if you haven't seen it on the truth about foreign ownership in of media in Australia, that's where, and look, they're all laughing at us, you know? All of them, they're just lying, as George Costanza says, George Costanza said, they're lying and laughing, laughing and lying. All right, that's it for this one.